Hey guys, and welcome to a walkthrough of a two bed, two bath corner, two story townhouse here in Latari Golf Resort. This one's a bit special in terms of location. So even though, as you can see, it's not a fantastic day today, it's not terrible, but it's not great. But I just wanted to get this on ASAP. Coming on at 135,000 euros, okay, fully furnished. I know that this rented out loads um, over the few, last few years. Um, the position of it is, is pretty unique. There's only around, about 18 townhouses um, which overlook pools and this is one of them okay so we're on a corner two story so let me just uh, have a little walk through and I'll add lib as always okay not rehearsed just uh, go as a just basically talk as I go and just point out anything as if you were actually here yourself you know that that's the way we work so right so walking through the front door again needs revarnished no biggie um, just needs to be sanded down and revarnished the actual door like I've said uh, lots of times before that's pretty much a given here Needs to be done really at least every couple of years. Um, I certainly do mine every couple of years because it needs it. Um, the sun is obviously particularly strong here, so it just needs it done. Um, so as you walk in, you've got this window here to the left. Okay, it's a corner, don't forget. So you've got the extra window here and another window to the left over there. Walking in, you've got this big chaise lounge here, which is, uh, which is big, um, very big. Um, it looks in decent condition. You've got a little couple of little rips there, um, but nothing major. Um, I mean, it could certainly be repaired um, or it could certainly do for the time being until you kind of put your own stuff in. But it looks neat and tidy. You know, it's all laid out nicely. I like the coffee table there. Table and chairs over there, really nice. A TV over here, which looks relatively new. So it all looks good. Nice, clean and fresh. Like I said, it did get a lot of rental. So, you know, it's been kept in very good condition um, because, you know, with rentals, you usually get kind of dirty walls and mucky things and things get broken. Um, but no, this is all pretty good in here. I've went around it already and it's all in very, very nice condition. So like I say, you've got a very big kind of chaise lounge coach there. Um, TV over here with the cabinet. Um, over here, you've got a nice kind of glass dining table with the kind of modern kind of white chairs. Um, just a little side table with a lamp over here. And again, the other extra window because of course it's a corner. Spin it around this way. So if anyone knows townhouses, you know all of the styles are kind of open plan kitchens, right? So coming over here, you've got your fridge freezer here, of course, dishwasher here, your oven, hob and hood. Um, again, looking very, very good condition because obviously these are the original ones, right? But looking very good condition. And then your washing machine is plumbed in outside. And as you can see, the outside is usually open, but they've actually built a cupboard here. So that's excellent. So that's where your boiler and washing machine is in that cupboard. Got a microwave just up here as well. Yep, all present and correct. Let's have a look at the rooms. Right, so again, if anyone knows townhouses, you know this is a storage room here. Very decent storage room. You see they've just got a couple of big filing cabinets and golf clubs and whatnot, but it's a really good place. And if you do go down the rental route, um, you just put a lock on it and obviously you can put all your stuff in there. Um, it's excellent for keeping all your stuff separate. Bedroom downstairs, set up as a twin, as you can see. Again, feels nice condition. Window here, which obviously looks out onto your off-street parking here. And then of course, you've always got loads of parking other than that as well. So you've never, you've never got a problem with parking here. And these are full size, you know, proper full size single beds. There's still plenty of rooms you can see. Inbuilt wardrobe as always. And you've got the AC unit up here as well. Again, don't forget all properties with Atari came with the AC units in the lounge and pre-installed in the bedrooms only. Okay, so you can see that's the one in the lounge. So that would have been the original one. And then anything that's been put in after that, anything that's in the bedrooms has been put in after that. Bathroom, nice big bathroom here. And as you can see, it's a lovely big double shower there. So that's basically the whole length of the wall. And it's just, then obviously them doors just close there. So it's completely enclosed and it's high up as well. So you're not gonna, never gonna get any kind of water leaking out or anything like that. But yeah, that's a really nice shower unit actually. Um, toilet and sink there, which are the originals. Um, and of course, get central heating throughout. So that's connected to your gas central heating. Yeah, your towel heater. And your bidet down there. A lot of people have taken these out as you probably heard me say a million times, um, and just put in like, you know, kind of towel cabinets and things like that. Right, so let's stay downstairs. Let's look at the terrace here. Um, obviously it's got a terrace downstairs off the lounge and it's also got a terrace upstairs off the master. So this of course is covered. 
Let's just go to the side so you can get the best view. So as you can see, you've got a pretty large uh, table and four chairs there. Over here is where the washing machine and the boiler is. As you can see, that's a closed cupboard. I'm assuming it's locked, but have a little look. Yep, yeah, it's locked. And then they've just put like an, an extra storage cupboard in here. Your plot goes to where these plants are. So this kind of bit is yours, not that it's much usable. Um, and then this is obviously your main seating area here. Um, and as you can see, there's a little gap in the hedge there. And if you walk out, Fantastic, straight on one of the largest communal pools in resort. So lovely big pool here. You've got the two tennis courts over there, just to my left. Um, and over to my right, you've got the gym, like a, an outside gym. There's outside gym spread all over the resort. It's excellent if you just want a bit of a workout, but you can't, you know, you don't want to go to an actual gym. You've got outside gym spread all over the place. Which is very good. Okay, back onto the terrace. Let's start heading upstairs. Woo! The stock's at the stock at the moment. I'm sure you're seeing for yourself. It's not just with us, it's with everybody. Stock is brutal at the moment on Latori. A lot of that is to do, of course, with the time of year, okay? Because people want to buy uh, to get in for the summer, to use it for their first summer. Um, so stock is very, very low at the moment. Um, so again, I think our last three sales here on Latori have not made the website, have not even made the videos um, because basically the keys have landed in our office. They've been shown to someone that's already booked a viewing and they're gone. So apologies for that, guys. But the last three or so, um, we, we, we literally couldn't get on at all, either on the website, on YouTube or anything. Um, they went literally before I could do any of it. Right up the stairs, you come to the landing. You've got the window again to the side. Now, a lot of people, although this is a window here, a lot of people have done what they have done um, with these style townhouses is, is replace this window with a door. Okay, because obviously at the moment you go through your bedroom out onto the terrace, but you can actually take this out and replace this with a, a glass door, um, which means you can basically just go, you know, straight out onto the terrace without having to go through your bedroom. It's good if you've got people here and stuff, of course, it means they don't have to go through your bedroom. Right, into the master. Nice, lovely, bright room as these all are. It's the master, so of course it's a lot bigger. I would say around about 30 to 35% bigger than the bedroom downstairs. Inbuilt wardrobes as always. Again, you've got the AC here, so it's full AC throughout. Gas central eating, which of course is throughout. And that is a standard double you've got there, which is a storage by the looks of it. Yep, that's a storage. And then of course you're on suite. So this one has remained a bath which I think most people tend to do, right? If you've, got a, if you've got two bathrooms or three bathrooms, you always keep one bathroom and then the other one you put a shower, you know? For people with kids and stuff, they do tend to prefer to use baths. And again, um, it's all the actual, it's all of the original units in here. So this is the original sink and the and unit, and this is all original as well. Um, this again, like I say, I would get it out, just put a nice big cabinet there so you can put nice lots of towels and other bits and pieces that you need in a bathroom. Um, like I say, bath is there, there's a, there's a shower curtain there, just if you wanted to use it for a shower. You've got your towel heater over here. And this is original. Again, if you're gonna keep it, just needs re-varnished a little bit. Um, but I think most people just get rid of them and replace them. You're, you're only talking a couple of hundred euros really to replace the whole lot. Um, but again, don't need to, um, it's just if you want to. Back out onto the master, lovely and bright as you can see. Window there, double doors there, another window over there, because of course it's a corner unit. Right, let's head out. So, of course, this is your nice big open terrace. So you've got a nice big gap down here, which is great for, for kind of storage. You know, you can put storage cupboards, you get the kind of storage boxes or the storage kind of wardrobe slash cupboards. Obviously, like I said to you before, you can actually change this to a door so that you have an access straight out here. Um, the other thing people have done with these, of course, is, is actually extend the actual house all the way to the side. And then you eat a little bit into the master, but then you get two double bedrooms turning into a three bed. But, you know, these are all things you can do. Exterior units, of course, over there for the AC. You've got a kind of table and four chairs, outside table and four chairs over here, a couple of sunbeds, but it's a nice big space up here. You can do pretty much whatever you want. Views, okay, so like I said, you're looking directly at the pool. 
like, which is literally directly in front. You've got the two tennis courts over to your left, the golf course over to the left beyond. You don't see much of the golf course. You can see it, but not much. And then over to the right is actually lovely as well. You've got all the orange lemon groves to the right, just over the perimeter wall of the resort. It's all the orange and lemon groves. Perfect if you've got kids, family, because obviously the pool's directly in front of you. If you're gonna go down the rental route, again, perfect, because the pool's right in front of you. Nice, big, big terrace. Right, orientations. So if I stand back, if I'm looking directly ahead, this is pretty much directly north, okay? So what does that mean? This is not a balcony, it's not an apartment, don't forget. You've got a big, long terrace stretching out, which is completely open. As you can see, well, you probably can't see, but you should hopefully be able to. The sun is almost directly above my head now, okay? So from end of March, beginning of April, until around the end of October, beginning of November, this terrace is gonna get sun all day. Even though you've got much sun out today, you can see there's lots of sun here. And this sun is basically just gonna carry on basically and set over here to our to our left as I'm pointing this way so basically the sun is coming up here and basically straight across setting over there now in winter the sun's a lot lower so it will in mid-afternoon it will drop behind that house or drop behind this house basically so you will lose the sun on this terrace mid-afternoon probably from around about 12 until four or five in in winter um, I mean this is April right so I'm not regarding this as winter now you're never pretty much going to lose it because it's coming up here. You can see where it is now and it's gone 12 o'clock now. It's literally directly above my head and that's not going to go any lower. That's basically just going to carry on like this basically and then set over here. So literally, you know, for six, seven months of the year, you're getting plenty of sun here. Um, you have got that period in, in proper winter where you will lose it mid-afternoon. Um, but for the, for the majority of the year, you're going to get it all, all, all day basically. But listen guys, it's, it's a lovely video on 135,000 euros. Okay, as with everything that we're putting on at the moment, we don't expect it to last very long. Um, the community fees on this one is 157 euros per month, okay? But don't forget, community fees on Latari include unlimited internet, which runs at a 50 megabit. It's all fiber optic now. It also includes international TV stations, and it also includes an internal phone line, so you can ring any other property on the resort, you can book one of the restaurants, um, you can book golf, whatever, okay? So that's all included within that fee. So you're getting a lot of it. You're getting a lot for your money, you know? Off resort, to get internet and TV package like that, you're talking 60 euros a month. So you've got to bear that in mind. And then of course, your community fees are going towards 24 hour security, the cleaning and maintenance of pools, gardens, things like that. So I think it's a pretty good deal. Um, it's going on the, well, we'll be going on the YouTube channel within the next couple of hours. Um, and then um, it will hopefully be on the website later today. Um, but like I say, guys, um, it isn't, if, if you're looking to buy something now, you can't flounder on these, you know. We've got people queuing up at the door at our office to look at stuff, and honestly, I can't remember another time where we've had so little to show because everything's gone. As soon as they come on the market, they're moving within a couple of days. If you've got any questions on this one, um, you can email, but I would recommend calling. If you're calling from the UK, it's uh, 0208 090 3631. If you're calling here in Spain, um, it is 968 032042. Um, but like I say, any questions, let me know. Um, and uh, speak to you soon. Cheers.